Okay, so I'm going to have a go at another Code Wars exercise. This is called bit counting. So I'll get straight into it. Write a function that takes an integer as input and returns a number of bits that are equal to one in the binary representation of that number. You can guarantee that input is non-negative. Okay, so the binary representation of one, two, three, four is this here one zero zero one one zero one zero zero one zero so the function should return five because there are one two three four five ones okay so this is a six caillou exercise um it's good that the we can guarantee that the input is non-negative so we don't have to worry about um two's complement numbers uh, so let's let's start this exercise and see how to do it so the class is called bit counting um, I'm going to do it in Eclipse I'll just prepare the class Okay, so I'm just putting some tests that I'm going to do. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll just make a note here of how many bits I'm expecting. So 0 should, the binary representation is just 0. 1, the binary representation is just 1. 2 is 1, 0. So that equals 1. We have 1, 1. Uh, three should be one one so that's two four should be one zero zero so that's one and five should be one zero one so that's two and one two three four I can't remember what it is but I think they said the answer was five so the function should return five okay so this is pretty simple to do in Java because I can convert the integer directly to its binary representation I'm not sure whether you could do that in every other language but it's certainly going to make it simpler so um, binary string how we do that is integer dot to binary string I think you can also do to string and give it the number base but we have to binary string so we can convert the number straight to that now we want to look at each digit in this binary string and say if it's one we count it so we're just going to loop through the string once so go from position zero up to the length minus one so this is the index of the character we're going to look at and then we can say if bin string um, substring starting at the index and going to the index plus one dot equals one uh, then we want to increase a counter so I'm going to say int one counter start off at zero and each time we see a one I'll add one onto it and then at the end we'll return the counter so uh, I've got now there wrong number of brackets uh, that's fixed so I'm just going to run this and see if we get the results I expect 0 0 mm, uh, so that hasn't worked um, I, I should have put i is less than bin string length because we want to go up to minus 1 ok 
okay that seems to be it so zero one one two one two and five okay so that's my answer um i'm confident that uh, there's not going to be any corner cases i've given it zero um the test down here um, don't seem to go into any corner cases but let's paste that in and test it you've passed all the tests and attempt pass to Failed zero submit. Okay, so that's that. Um, I'm not sure where does it say um, whether I was successful or not. Uh, I think I was successful, but interestingly, um, it's given us some other solutions here, and I guess that this solution is the best. Um, return integer bit count um, I didn't know you could do that but let's just comment out my code and return integer bit count yeah you can just do integer bit count so it goes to show really that sometimes um, we reinvent the wheel um, there's already a method to do that in the integer class in Java. So I went sort of reinvented the wheel there by doing it where there was a much more straightforward solution. So I think that's a pretty good thing about um, Code Wars, uh, where you can actually see other people's solutions. So this solution is the most straightforward, but um, my solution is a little bit more long-winded but it also works okay so that's my solution to bit counting on code wars thanks for watching